collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Z. Today I'm waiting for the beautiful and handsome collective. Hey, collective. Hey, y'all. Uh, flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. To book a private reading with me or to shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. Okay? All right. Um, I want to say thank you so much for supporting me during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. <sighs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? Thank you. I'm um, grateful for the super chats. I think it's super chats, donations, um, you sharing, you just being here, supporting, commenting. You're very much, uh, much, so much, 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 much appreciated. All right? So thank you so much. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business with these nasty karmics. <laughs> What they got going on, spirit? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Gee. I'm hearing guaranteed. Got uh, a woman, older woman here, guaranteed, what's guaranteed? They're a false person. What's guaranteed? Hmm. We have privileged lady and we have child in the reverse. So this false person here, this immature woman here, older woman here, is guaranteeing that this um, privileged lady is not connected to a child. That's a message of concern here. Why? We have despair. Despair over a marriage is in reverse. So this mother, grandmother figure here does not want you to be connected to your child or a marriage. And it's bringing on bouts of huge bouts of message of concern and despair. Now, let's see why. What is causing this despair with this person? Denial about. Really? <laughs> Really? 
happiness and change of life causes grief. What what is this bullshit, man? Like what the fuck is this? So an immature woman here, older woman is is in grief because you're happy? Like what? What is this? <laughs> But they don't want you to be connected to a child or a marriage here. But things will be balanced out. <clears throat> it's like they're almost guaranteeing that this would not happen. That you would not be connected to your child. So these are for individuals that are not connected to, to, to their child currently. Meaning that you don't have um, communication or you're not in like you're not in contact with your child or a child here and there's a mother figure here so it could be your mother grandmother aunt cousin however whatever that is actually causing a lot of riff in regards to the disconnect between you and a child and they're trying to make sure that they guarantee that you don't get in contact with a child here so they're like guaranteeing that all that will be null and void um do a return to sender on this woman here who Listen to me. Listen to me. You're going to have to do a return to sender. This may be a mother figure. This may be a grandmother, an aunt, however, whatever. You're going to have to do a return to sender. And when you do a return to sender, I'm not going to sugarcoat a motherfucking thing. It's going to hit this bitch hard. Hard in her health. But this needs to be done. It needs to be a return to sender. I'm not sugarcoating a motherfucking thing. At all. Because this here is ridiculous. Um... So this older woman here has been causing a lot of rifts, a lot of disconnects, not only between you and a child or your child, but other connections as well, too. They could be the reason why, again, this ain't going to resonate for everybody. Just listen, listen to the, to the message, okay? For the ones that it do resonate with here, it's either your mother, your aunt, a cousin, a grandmother, is a feminine energy, a nasty, dilapidated, mushy cunt energy. All right, a hawk kind of spits energy, right? Doesn't want to see you happy, doesn't like to see you happy, don't want you to be or connected to a child or your child, and also a marriage as well. Too well, I look at marriage as a connection because when you do come together, when you marry someone, that is a connection, so it may not be an actual physical marriage connection, it may be. I'm hearing slightly, yeah, but that's not the topic here. The topic is this child. That's the topic here. And they don't want they don't want you connected or bridge a connection to this child. So they're doing everything possible to keep that away from you, to keep keep you from your child. You're going to have to do a return to sender. For the ones that resonate with this, you're going to have to do a return to sender on this person. Because this person is very relentless and they're not going to stop anytime soon. They're just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing and gunning for your child. This person is gunning for your child spiritually, energetically. They're gunning for your child. I need to make that clear. They are a false person here. Makes sense. That makes sense with the despair and the message of concern here because I'm reading it in different ways. One way I'm reading it is with this balance here. They don't want you to, to balance out the imbalances that they occurred for you. They want to keep you in this despair and message of concern. But the tables are going to turn if you decide to do this return to sender. All you're doing is just returning their bullshit energy back to them. That's all you're doing. Okay? If you do decide to do this, this is the energy that they're going to be in. Because they're doing some really fucked up shit with candle work in, in regards to a child. They're trying to harm a child energetically. They're trying to harm a child spiritually. It won't work. And they're going to be in so much regret freedom is in reverse now this may shock some it may not it ain't gonna shock me but look not of a child
This person already has a lot of health ailments that they're not aware of or privy to. So they have a lot of underlying conditions that is getting ready to surface. And if you do decide to do this return to sender, it will surface. They're not going to have a choice but to surrender. <laughs> and they're going to have a lot, of ad ad a lot of adversaries and adversity. Also, failure. I'm hearing heart failure for this woman. I'm hearing a heart attack. I'm hearing stroke. They're worried, they're in fear because they don't want you to know that this is what they're doing. You have either a mother figure, a grandmother figure, a foster, an aunt, an older cousin, however, whatever. Okay, take it how it resonates in your story. That is trying to keep you away from your child. And while they're trying to keep you away from your child, they're energetically or they are using candles, word magic, and also the Bible as well too, to more so condemn or more so to shun or to make this child sick. That's the honest truth. Judgment has been called in place on this woman. Like I said, I know why I be talking about. Okay, we got guilt and we got health. They're going to be in so much guilt that their health not going to be right. Their health is not going to be right. Their health is going to be topsy-turvy all over the place here. Because of what they decided to do. You need to do a return to sender on this bitch. <clears throat> Tap into the energy of the child, kind of see what's going on. Things are going to be balanced. Things are going to be balanced. This is happening all over the world. Metaverse wisdom is going to be balanced. You're going to be reunited with this child. Okay. For some of you guys, the culprit is this woman here. She is the mastermind behind all of this. For some of you guys, because it's a collective read. So you want to have to take it how it resonates in your story, okay? But um, she is the reason why all of this is happening in your reality. But you'll be reunited. Anything to make you feel sad. Anything to make you look bad. Anything to make you be down and out. Okay? But peace is here. You're in peace. Or you're looking forward to being in peace here. And you'll be in peace with your child or your children. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to tap in a little bit deeper because my spirit is giving me permission to do so. I just want to tap in a little bit deeper into this mother-like energy just to kind of see what's really what. Okay? Um... So I'm tapping into the darker aspects of this person. Let me get my sage real quick. My dragon blood, you know. Keep this child away from this monster. This is a monster. This is a this ain't no regular regular person we're dealing with. This this is a a unhinged dusty bitch that is that don't have a problem with putting a child in harm's way 
Not physically though, spiritually. And I'm here to tell you that shit that this karmic mother was doing, <laughs> this bitch ain't gonna stand a chance. Do your return to Sunday's boo. You ain't gonna get no bad karma. Ain't no backlash gonna go back onto you. All you're doing is returning their nasty energy back to them. That's all a return to sender is. And that's basic, basic spiritual knowledge that I'm just giving out. I'm not even tall. I'm not even giving you the big dog shit. I'm giving you something feasible that you can do on your own. But this here requires a return to sender. Because she going to feel it. She going to feel it. She going to feel it all over. All over her body. You coming for a child. An innocent child that can't protect themselves. Okay. Well, you can't be upset. <laughs> when spirits don't top that ass. You can't be upset, boo. <laughs> Fair exchange ain't no motherfucking robbery. Especially when it comes to a child. We don't play about kids over here. <laughs> mm -mm. We don't play about kids over here. <clears throat> As I was saying, I was tapping in. So, so this is what I saw. Saw a woman sitting on a chair. See a Bible open, and I see certain verses open. Now, with the Bible verse that I see, I see lots of writing. I see circles, like you know, different types of little squiggly squares, little stuff like that. I see that. I see notes, and I also see names as well too. Now, these are names of lower energies, lower uh, vibing energies is what I'm seeing in this book. Um, the Book of Psalms is by Anna R R River, Rivera, R-I-V-A, River, Riva. It's blue and white. It's like the Book of Psalms or something like that. That's what I'm seeing. And this person prays over this child in a negative way daily at least three times a day they've been doing this for quite some time i'm hearing about three years they've been doing this daily yeah this just child or children spirit is very strong very 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 strong very strong Like anything that's attached to you, they want to destroy. And they don't care what it is or who it is. They're willing to do that. And that's just not going to happen. But they'll be destroying themselves in the end or in the process. Because you getting this return to send the bag. <laughs> oh, you getting this bag. <laughs> you getting this return to send the bag. Yeah, they too good to be true. They were very sneaky. Very sneaky. Try to bully a child. They use drugs. They want to keep you in not only legal manners, legal matters. They want to keep you in financial ruins or financial failure and also homeless. They want to do everything possible to keep you at a standstill bad luck as well too you may have been divorced if you are divorced cold-hearted childhood trauma yeah they're plotting they're plotting but karma is right behind spirits say to trust the process rival they are a rival that just will not rest that wants your attention that try to take everything from you that has severe daddy issues Had severe daddy issues. This woman may have slept with one of yours, one of your lovers, your ex lovers, ex boyfriend, ex husband, whatever the case may be. They're going to be stressed out. Now, what I'm hearing <laughs> with this return to sender is that they're going to be very afraid. Because they're going to feel it and they're going to know exactly. <laughs> they're going to know exactly. 
Like I said, hiding something. Family. This is what your family member is hiding. They are stuck. They are pretending. Angels are not around them. They have no protection. They're very karmic as well. Oh, they're suffering in silence. Yeah, they're suffering in silence because of what they decided to do against a child or children. You know what the fuck I'm talking about? Like, shit. <laughs> They trying to introduce this child to sexual trauma. Certain changes are coming. This person, this whole family is untrustworthy. They won't even know what fucking hit them. The way this return is send about the fucking hit. And I'm going to know when it hit too. Because I'm going to come back and I'm going to report on that bitch. <laughs> they ain't going to know what the fuck to do. I'm coming for a child. Okay. Fake Empress. You do you, boo. Do you, Karmic. <clears throat> They're hiding molestation. So if you had, had your child around this mother figure here, the whole family, that whole family, that whole family, ugh, yuck. They're a liar. They burnt out, confused, they're broke, they're impulsive, they abusive, they love to play with this, they a cheater, don't you worry, <laughs> don't you worry, <laughs> don't you fucking worry. <laughs> I said justice. Don't you worry your head, Karmic. Coming for a child. Sad. <laughs> we have the cat here. They're very afraid. I'm telling you their health is going to be compromised. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Freedom, they're going to be stuck. They're going to be stuck with their sickness. <laughs> They're going to be stuck with their sickness. Creatures fall. It's like spirit is coming and take away their, their good health. funny <laughs> all these cards fell down and um hold on we have the body and we have loss like I told you they're literally praying for bad health of a child. That's what this, this woman is doing here. She's praying on the downfall against a child, an innocent child at that. And think this shit is funny. Think that, you know, no one would know that this is what she's doing. Now 20,000 people. How many subscribers is on here? 
it's very well known what this person is doing. This child is safe. Ten of Cups. Happy family reunion. Child is safe. Compassionate, caring, affectionate, friendly. This child is going to be fine. But this mother figure is not for doing that dumb shit. I know what I'm talking about. For doing that dumb shit. No. They thought... That they was going to get away with it. They thought. Seven of Swords. They thought they was going to get away with it. No. They're going to be here. In the Three of Swords. Because they're being judged. Again, this is the second judgment card. And you're going to be walking away with this child. With the Six of Wands. Celebrating. Mm -hmm. High Priestess knows. And I'm going to say this too. We got the Eight of Swords feeling trapped. The more they continue to do this bullshit onto this innocent child, the more harsher the wrath of the karma is going to be. And if they're not careful, it may spill it to their kids. This is an older adult here. If they have adult kids and their adult kids have kids, you better be very careful because you just never know. It can skip. See, when people are playing with dark energy and don't know what the fuck they're doing, in some cases, mm -hmm, it can skip. The person who was actually doing it, it can skip them and hit someone in their bloodline, someone that they truly love in the door. And they have no protection. So even though they're reciting all these Bible verses and all these death things towards an innocent child of the collective, your family is not safe spiritually, karmic. And if you have kids, adult kids, and they have kids, or if those kids have kids, So again, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, stop playing. Stop playing with these prayers. Stop playing with this spiritual work. Because this, this is not even work that you're doing. It's bullshit. Stop playing. Because one day you're going to wake up and your whole world is going to be turned upside down. And you're going to be like, oh, oh I, I, yeah. Anything that is connected to the collective is divinely protected. I need to make that clear. And you don't have a say, karmic, in regards to who stays and who goes. You don't have a say in regards to who's to who's to get sick and who's not. You don't have a fucking say in that. You don't have no authority. You don't. You do not. And you will be quickly humbled. So you can understand the severity as to how much you don't have any authority. Spiritual authority trumps anything, any day, any time. I don't give a fuck who you are. Spiritual protection, spiritual laws trump everything. It comes first. As above, so below. What you do up in the spiritual first... Eventually, it's going to come down to the 3D mundane world. So if you think that you're down here in the 3D mundane world and you think thinking you're protected, think again, bitch. You got another thing coming if you think that you're protected from any spiritual attacks. Or your bloodline for that matter. I hope you fucking ready. I just hope you're ready.
We got the magician in abandonment. Yeah, when you do, if you decide to do this return to sender, they're not going to have a choice but to abandon the shit that they created, that they started. Because it's going to be too much to bear, too much to handle, too much to witness. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, bruh. Five of Cups. <laughs> All bets are off when you're coming for an innocent child. All bets are off. All. Because you telling me you, you trying to poke. That what you this what this is what you saying you you okay with transitioning early. That's what you saying. That's what you saying, Karmic. Why would you think it's okay to do spell work on a fucking child? An innocent child at that. Okay. Do you boo. Do what you gotta do. Do whatever you gotta do, boo. We have the chariot in reverse. They're going to lose completely control of this. Now that the collective is aware, or if you were, weren't aware, now you are aware that there's a mother figure here that is doing spell work on a child to make them sick. And that's going to be reversed back onto the person or the sender that is doing this. Not only is it going to hit the sender, it's going to hit a couple of people in their family dynamic. They're not going to like it. Y'all going to come back and tell me? Synchronicity was in reverse which tells me that they're not going to have no how can I put that okay things already are fucked up in their life but they feel like if they continue to do whatever it is that they're doing here that they're going to hit the jackpot or they're going to get to the sore spot of you that's what they're trying to do they're trying to create a sore spot out of you from something that you love and you know what i mean that you cherish and they feel like by targeting a child an innocent child that's supposed to make you get out of character yell and scream and all that stuff that's what they want you to do they want you to get out of character they want you to be aware as to what they're doing but they also want you to make a scene in regards to what they're doing because while they're doing all this behind the scenes and you out here yelling and screaming and you berating all that stuff it's gonna make you look a certain way just do your return to send the boo let them play hot potato with their shit let them play hot potato with their own energy but with the synchronicity here in reverse, it tells me that when this return to sender connects and it's going to connect and it's going to connect real fucking hard, facts, they won't have any inkling or they won't have any knowledge that this is why certain things are happening. That makes sense. It's just going to be all haywire and chaotic. Just how the prayer was haywire and chaotic. Like I literally hear a prayer, a death prayer for a fucking child. That's what I'm hearing. Access denied. That shit not going through. But to be able to hear that shit and you coming for an innocent child. Mm, child. Mm. <laughs> we got shattered. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm not talking about this child. I'm not talking about this child at all. This child gonna be fine. Growth, this child gonna be fine, but that karmic ain't. Hmm. Keep thinking this shit is a joke. Keep playing with something that you don't have no fucking knowledge about. But okay, yeah, I'm telling y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. That shit gonna connect and it's gonna hit fucking hard, bruh. Gonna knock the fucking wind out that bitch. 
And I did say something about a heart, heart attack, a stroke. You don't see that heart there? Okay. Since they won't stop, they just keep going. They won't stop. They would not stop. Okay. Well, you got to keep that same energy when that shit's returned back to you. They wouldn't stop. It wouldn't stop. We don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Don't start nothing that you can't finish. Wild card is in reverse. And they're not going to be able to detach from this. From this karma that's getting ready to hit. They're not going to be able to, to, to detach from this shit at all. And they're not going to be able to call in no fucking favors. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Grief and sadness. So let them keep it up with the prayers of the death and all that shit. Yeah, let them keep that shit up, bruh. Because this is exactly where they get ready to be. Dead end. Reciprocal. The energy that they push out is the energy that they're going to get back one million times fold. So let them keep it up. And it's going to come in real fucking quick to a unbalance them. Two of pentacles in reverse. You ain't stopping a motherfucking thing, karmic, at all. Nothing at all. Extreme regret. Facing fear. Nine of swords. Yeah, I bet you are. Because when things go boom in the middle of the night. Or when you in bed and you trying to get up. And you can't get up. And the spirit got you hold, got your ass pinned down to the bed. And you trying to figure out why the fuck you can't get up. You going to get the message. And it doesn't stop when you say stop. That's the beauty of it. But you going to get the message. You want to be doing death threats against a child. An innocent child. Say less, partner. Say less, partner. Say fucking less. <laughs> Power, success, and good fortune. Lucky charm. New beginnings. Wins. Change and transformation, fresh start. Like I said, that's you, collective. Protection from negative forces, purification, major life changes, untapped skills, comfort, new life. All of this, they doing all of this because you won't give them any attention. That's what it is. You won't give them no fucking attention. Whoever I'm speaking to. You may worry for no reason. Look at a problem with a diff look at a problem from a different angle. Possible heated argument, tread lightly. Closely held secrets. Yeah. Life altering experience with self-worth. So this is a secret that they held or is holding. But is a family here, but that mother figure is the culprit, is leading this crew, this hawk and spit crew into demise thinks it's okay and it's funny to do death spells on the innocent child of the collective. I'm talking about unexpected death, frustrations, misery, feeling cage, loneliness, unpleasant surprises, unhappiness. It's not you, collective. Seeing problems in a new light, lost sense of direction, distracted, protected, mysterious, uncertainty. That's an earth sign. This is earth, this is air. So it's an unexpected death of an earth sign. Heart attack, stroke, something to their nature. Massive, massive, massive heart attack, massive stroke. Yeah. And we have, man, we have regret and remorse over past actions, 
need better time management, loss, trying to control everything, stress, death. God damn. Sorrow, sickness, sacrifice, defeated, period of mourning, letting go of someone important. They're going to be in a lot of sorrow because they ended up sacrificing their bloodline, not yours. Your bloodline is safe. Theirs are not. And they're going to see everyone fall around them. They're going to see. And they're going to think twice about doing this. Overuse of power and authority. All you got to do is just do your return to sender. Up your protections and go about your day. You ain't got to speak to nobody. You ain't got to do your return to sender. You return all the various energies back to sender. You return all adverse energies back to sender. Spirit gods. Your spirit gods will be right there beside you. And 8 plus 5 breaks down to 13, which breaks down to 4, which is protection. <laughs> yeah, peace. 3 plus 1 is 4. Another 4. Peace. Yeah, boundaries. Yeah, boundaries. I make a fucking child sick. Like this, that, 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 that is sick. But this child is spiritually protected. <laughs> what you thought this was? Yeah, and they're gonna heal. They're gonna heal from this. They thought that they can play on your intelligence. They really thought so. And they thought wrong. Huh. They were trying to tap into your energy or your auric field. And also this child, they can't touch you. So they're trying to touch your child. They're trying to attack your child spiritually. It's not going to work. I'm telling you, it ain't going to work. I'm just saying. It's just, it's just not. <laughs> Yeah, and they're going to be in for a rude awakening because they're going to realize that they misjudged the whole situation here. How are you coming for a fucking innocent child? An innocent child that didn't do anything to you. How are you coming for an innocent child? So, listen, angels and guides, listen. <laughs> y'all, y'all, man. Spiritual protection. What was the other one? Spirit guides, angels, and guides. Like, what was that other one? Spiritual protection. Spiritual guides, angels, and guides. Look at all this protection. There's more protection here, but just these three here, child, please. And it's a lot of it. It's a lot. It's a lot. I'm telling you, it's a lot. It's it's a it's overwhelming protection over this child. <laughs> overwhelming. It's nothing that they can do. And then for them for them to even think this notion. It's not going to end well for this 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 group dynamic. It's just not. Y'all don't know who who walks with who in the spirits. Y'all keep saying that shit. I'm gonna keep saying it. You don't know who walk with who. And even if you did know who walk with who, why the fuck would you want to bother people? Leave people alone. Go about your day. You don't like them? Cool. Move around. That's fine. But to to get to 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 harm an innocent child because you want to be fucking ignorant. You will be ignorant and immature. There ain't no coming back from that. 
Ain't no coming back from that. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, shit about to take off. Look, look at the green. Green is hearts. Okay. <laughs> See, some people think that spirituality is a toy. They can just pick it up and use it at any point in time, however they feel, and they can it is justified. No, there's levels to this shit. And you're not gonna come over here and you're not going to sully it and you're not going to disrespect spirituality. You're just not. Don't come the fuck over here because somebody broke your heart and you wanna hurt them. What the fuck? Why in the fuck are you picking up a candle or any type of magic for any anything in that notion? Because someone broke your heart. Use that energy as a catalyst to get yourself together and pour that love into you, boo. The fuck you gonna waste your beautiful and your good and your your essence, your pure energy on a desolate dusty? Because they cheated on you? Okay, people get cheated on all the time. Now, if they cause you bodily harm or something, then that a little different. That a little different. You gotta learn how to pick and choose your battles. Or you want to come over to spirituality because you don't like somebody and you want to stop them from being successful. You want to hurt their finances. You want to hurt their foundation. You want to hurt anything that this person or the collective is attempting to create and you think that's justified. No, it's not. But this karma that you're receiving is justified because you're playing with something that you don't know nothing the fuck about. Nothing at all. And you about to be in for a rude awakening. A rude awakening. I hope you're ready. I give it a week's time. I hope you're ready. Just watch. They going to feel it. Carefully too. They going to feel it. It's going to be right in their face. I'm certain things are going to turn in your favor. Mm-hmm. In your favor, collective. Certain. You want to harm an innocent child. Because you want to be fucking dumb and dootish. Loyalty. Spirit, the divine is loyal to the collective. The collective is loyal to the to the divine. We have deceit and intuition. Yeah. Your intuition, if you did not know, you know and now your intuition is what's gonna bring you here to realize that something is off trying to poison the child trying to make a child sick like this shit is weird yeah an ending trying to make a child sick like this shit is crazy the fuck success in reverse like i said it's not gonna work bro we have independence in reverse as well too they're gonna be dependent on this karmic energy I'm telling you when that shit hit they gonna lose their balance sure shit gonna hit them fucking hard bro hard safety is in reverse the sure. Y'all playing with people, kids. It should. Oh, man. Shit. <laughs> it's some, man, it's some real ignorant. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, uh, uh, oh. Uh. Some real ignorant spellcasters out there, but okay. Okay. I'm telling you, reunion. 
Man, let me get up about this energy here. Done. I'm done. Forgiveness is in reverse. They're going to be asking for help. Mirror effect. They're going to be very angry. Man. That was the worst thing that they could have done. And they're going to learn. They're, they're going to learn. That's the spiritual message. They're going to learn. That was the worst thing they could have done was to come against an innocent child. Missouri. Your name could be Hope, Rope, Garner, Garnish, Word Processing. You could be from the Brooklyn, Queens, the BQE Brooklyn, Queens Expressway. Someone's using Rogaine for hair. You could be losing your hair in the front or you may get a hair transplant. Someone's definitely from New York. I heard Brokey. <laughs> I love New York. <laughs> they accent is just everything. What up, Brokey? <laughs> Somebody from Southwest Philly. What up, Philly? Somebody from, uh, somebody from West Philly. Southwest Philly, West Philly, somebody from Hawaii that keeps popping up. Somebody lives in swamp areas. Swamp. No, I have an A. Somebody swam really far. Or you could be taking a, a swim test. Swamp. Somebody loves hog malls. Someone's from Massachusetts. All right. Somebody's from Oklahoma. Someone's iron is low. It could be anemic. F-E is iron. Somebody loves birria tacos. B-I-R-R-I-A. They are good. They are good. <laughs> I'm hearing Borgiorno. Borgiorno. I think that's hello in Italian, I believe. Someone loves frappes. Someone's from Mississippi. Someone loves wafers. Somebody has WAP. <laughs> it popped up. So somebody's getting a new animal, Paul. Somebody's getting big. You could be getting big, bigger in size. B-I-G-G-E-R. You could be listening to Biggie Smalls. You could be getting big. Like, bigger than life. Like, your reputation is growing. Like, getting bigger. Um, You could be listening to B-I-G, Biggie. Or you could be gaining weight. Someone's name could be Sankofa. S-A-N-K-O-F-A. -A, Sankofa. Sankofa, Kafa. Someone loves to go for coffee um, pedicures. Someone's from Michigan. Someone loves sap, which is um, uh, sir. <laughs> Somebody loves ASAP Rocky. Someone loves cola beans, K-O-L-A, cola. I think they're from Hawaii. Someone loves flowers, lots and lots of flowers. Somebody's listening to, uh, I don't know if it's Big Boy or um, 
three stacks, three thousand, Andre three thousand, Aquatamai, Aquatamai, Aquarius and Gemini. I think that was one of their actual uh, albums that they put out called Aqu Aquemini. Um, someone could be listening to that album. Somebody has a Hyundai, a Hyundai. Someone's car is on his last leg. Could be a Nissan. I'm hearing Nissan. I'm hearing a Prius, Ford. Then I'm hearing Prius. If you are on social media of any kind and you've been like working your 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 channels you're going to get an influx of just boom <laughs> of new subscribers new followers new everything okay it's going to come out of nowhere so be prepared <laughs> be prepared if you're ready so we have ben you can be your name could be ben if you listen to michael jackson you could be from bend illinois Someone's using Ben Gay. <coughs> Somebody loves Ben 10. <coughs> Excuse me. Ben 10. Yeah, this person's a liar. All they do is lie. And what's so fucked up is that the family that's around this individual, they, they, they're they okay. They make up lies for them too. They all going down. They all going down. You may like peanut butter. You may like the swim channel. Adult swim. You could be from Long Island. Someone is hiding their chronic illness. Somebody has chronic illness and they're hiding it. I'm hearing besiege. Besiege. So a siege is a chair. But what's bus siege? Let me see. Oh, okay. Surround with armed forces in order to capture it or force its surrender. Crowd around oppressively. Surround and harass. What? To surround the place, especially with an army, to prevent people or supplies getting in or out. Wow. I have all the letters. Someone's name could be Bessie. I have all the letters. Besiege. So it just that tells me that spirit. Mm. Fans too. Somebody likes the the um the Poconos. You may like the Alps, the Swiss Alps. You may have um you may have went skiing there, snow skiing. Somebody wants to try water skiing. Six house, Taurus. Venus. Virgo. Neptune. Eighth house. We got Pluto. Fifth house. Aries. Leo, second house, Uranus,
All right, so we have Taurus. So you can be dealing with the Taurus. You could be a Taurus. We got Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius. Let's do two more. Gemini, Virgo. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.